Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today we're going to have a look at how to create a fun motion graphics social media commercial like this. Now today's video is sponsored by Zyro, and if you want to make a super simple yet amazing portfolio for your work, I'll talk about it later on, but first let's start at the beginning. So let's say that our client is a pizza restaurant and they need some social advertisement to attract new clients. Well, let's start by making our timeline, which is going to be a square sequence so that the client can post it on any social media platform. Now to create a square sequence, press Ctrl N, then go to the settings, set the editing mode to custom, select the time base. Now I'm going to edit in a 29.97 frames per second timeline. Then set the frame size. We're going for a square, so that means 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now leave the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels and set the preview file format to QuickTime and the codec to Apple ProRes 422. Now if you want to save this as a preset for future videos, you can do that by clicking this button right here. And of course, don't forget to hit OK. So let's start with gathering some assets and thinking about our general look. Now since they are from Italy, we're going to use the colors of the Italian flag. So green, white and red. As assets, we need pizzas, but where can we get high quality pictures from pizzas? Well, let's go to Yellow Images for that. Now, Yellow Images was one of our sponsors in a previous tutorial, and they have an online library full of high quality mockups, 360 degree images, and so much more. Ideal to get all of the assets we need. For example, I want a van with the restaurant's logo on it. And it's very easy to make with one of their mockups, so let's download one of those too. Once we've gathered all of our assets, we can drag them in Premiere Pro and start making our commercial. Now let's start with creating some color mats. I'm going to right click in the project panel and select color mat. Then I'm going for a green one and name it green. Then I'm making two more, which are going to be a white one and a red one. Now place the white one on track number one. This will be our base layer. Then I'm placing the red and the green mats above that. We're going to create the Italian flag now, so that means vertical stripes going green, white, red. So let's go to the effects panel and look for the crop effect. I'm going to set the green mat to a crop of 66.7% on the right value. This will make it one third of the overall width. Now place the crop effect on the red layer as well and set the left value to 66.7%. Bam! We now have our Italian flag. But let's animate it. I'm going to the effects panel and look for the transform effect and place it on this layer. Then I'm going to deselect the composition shutter checkbox and set a custom shutter angle of 180 degree to create some motion blur in our animation. Now place a beginning keyframe by hitting the stopwatch icon for the position and drag it down until it's out of screen. Now a bit further in time, adjust the position back to its origin, which you can do by clicking on this reset button. Now do the same for the red value, but let it come in from above. Okay, next are the rolling pizzas across the screen. And it's actually super simple. All we need is a picture of our pizza. So once again, use the transform tool on this layer and adjust the shutter angle. Then I'm going to rescale the picture and place it outside of the screen on the right bottom side. Then I'm hitting the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe again. I'm going a bit further in time and adjust the position to outside the left bottom side of the screen. Now let's play this. Looks nice, but I want it to look like the pizza is actually rolling across the screen. So now I'm going to animate the rotation, going from zero in the beginning to minus 360 degrees at the end. Now why do we go minus 360 degree? Well, I want the pizza to rotate to the left, otherwise it will not look that natural. Once that's done, I'm going to duplicate the layer by holding Alt while dragging, and in the duplicate I'm going to readjust the position values so that it goes from the upper left to the upper right side. This also means that we need to change the rotation value to 360 degrees at the end. Then select both layers and nest them together. Duplicate them and set the rotation of the duplicate to 90 degrees. Now the right and left side will also have these rolling pizzas too. Next is the bouncing pizza. Now once again we're going to use the transform effect to get that nice motion blur. Now for the bounce effect itself, we want to make an animation. And for example, in this case, it's the scaling. Now let it start with a small value like zero. 
then let it go to a value that is slightly bigger than the value you want to end with. So in this case, I'm going to 51. Then head a couple of frames further in time, and I'm going about five frames, but this can also be seven or 10, depending on how you want it to look. Then make it a bit smaller than your ending value. Now I'm going for 47 here. And then once again, a couple of frames further, let's place our ending value, which is going to be 49, right in between 47 and 51. Now very important when making a bounce effect is that it doesn't bounce too much. Just one simple bounce is more than enough to make it look realistic. Also, make sure that it's smooth and slow. If you throw a ball in the air, it will not immediately drop down. It will ease when it's at its highest point and then gradually fall down faster. So right click on our keyframes and ease them. Now to add a bit more depth between the pizza and background, we can add the drop shadow effect to it. Next, we're going to play around with animating the crop effect from the color mats. Now this is an easy way to simply make different backgrounds in your motion graphics. And what I've done right here is make the background less boring and dull by placing a text layer above it with a barely visible opacity where I show the word pizza a whole lot of times. And this is actually also a psychological trick to make the viewer think about pizza during the entire duration of this commercial, even when you don't see an actual pizza. The text and the other assets here are simply animated with the transform tool once again, by keyframing the opacity and the scale. Now coming from a super big scale to a normal size. Very important here to note is to not go over 300% scaling. That's one of the limitations of the transform effect. Once you go over 300, Premiere will either go super slow or it will crash. Okay, quick intermezzo to talk about our sponsor for today, which is Zyro. Now Zyro is a website builder that is super easy to use. Now let's say that you're a professional filmmaker like me, who wants to show some professional work via a good website. Well with Zyro, it's actually super easy to make in almost no time at all. Just go over to their website, make an account, click create new website, and then you can either choose a template or let the AI generator create a website for you. Now I'm gonna choose a template. And as you can see, they have multiple styles of templates. Now let's go for a portfolio template and I'm going to choose the Arnold because I love the simplicity of it. From here on, it's super easy and fast. I can simply add elements like videos, photos, or even my Instagram grid. I can reposition elements or easily change the text or background photo. I can even start my very own blog or web shop from the menu right here. And this one is also very interesting as well. I can create styles for my entire website with just a click of a button. Awesome! So after only a couple of minutes of work, my website already looks like this. It's gonna be ideal to attract more clients. Now let's publish it. Now not only is it super fast to create the website, the website itself also loads super fast, which is one of the great features of Zyro. And if you might have a problem along the way, you can simply contact their support, which is available 24 seven. And I know what you're thinking, it's probably a bot, right? Nope, it's actually a real person talking to you. So if you want to have a simple drag and drop website editor with no coding or design skills required, that also allows you to create a blog or a web shop, then head over to the first link in the description down below. I've also provided a discount code, which gives you 10% off the Zyro yearly plans. So that means that with this limited deal, you can build a website starting from only $2.61 per month. Okay, now back to Premiere now. Next is the Pizza Swipe, which is also created with the transform effect. Simply animate the position so that it makes a nice curve off screen. Now, if you're using the effect for multiple layers, you can simply copy and paste it. And now comes the most interesting and tricky effect, the car scene. The car itself is a mock-up from yellow images that I've changed colors in Photoshop. I also placed my custom logo on it. Now the wheels here are animated in Premiere, but how did I do it? Well, the car itself is just a PNG layer, which I then duplicated two more times. I then make a mask on those duplicates and both are circular masks around the wheels. One layer for the front wheel and one for the back wheel, of course. Now when masked, I right click on the track and nest it. Then I'm going to take the transform effect once again, set a custom shutter angle and animate rotation over time. But see what happens when I change the value of the rotation now. It rotates around this anchor point, which is the rotation center. Now I don't want that. I want the rotation center to be in the middle of the wheel. So how can we do that? Oh, very simply, Jill. We can just alter the anchor point of the transform effect. Well, no. See what happens when we do that. Still not okay, right? So here's a quick fix to get past these limitations. Now from the program monitor, open the rulers and guidelines. 
If you don't see these, then you can click on the plus icon and drag them to the program monitor. Once they're activated, take the guides to create a cross in the middle of your wheel. Then select the transform effect and drag the anchor point to the middle of this cross. Now make sure that it's exactly in the middle of it. Copy and paste the anchor point values to the position values within the transform effect and then we simply have to animate the rotation of the wheel and do the same for the other wheel. Then we nest all of these layers together and with the transform tool we animate the nest coming on screen. And then back off screen if you want that as well. And that's every effect explained from this commercial. Now since I had some time left I also decided to make a quick website for this fictional client with Zyro. So that's something that you can also offer to your clients since it's super easy and fast to make. On that note I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. Now make sure to hit the like button, put a comment down below and share this video. I'll see you guys next week and as always stay creative.